Lucille. Hey, hello, John. Uh, give me a coffee for here and uh, ten cappuccinos to go. Hey, John. Yeah, ten cappuccinos because I'm tired. I'm just so <laughs> damn sleepy. Hey, relax, John. It's me. I already know you're a gopher. <laughs> How's the new job going? Actually, it's great. I got a promotion. I am a reporter. Oh, good for you. Oh, oh you're a reporter? But perhaps there is a story right under your nose. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm just starting out. I'm writing obituaries. I think the only thing under my nose is a cup of Stella's coffee, you know? <laughs> Maybe a cup of coffee will provide a helpful hint. Maybe one story will lead to another one. <laughs> Have you got sugar in the raw? Well, I see you're an obituary writer now. That, that's pretty exciting. Press. 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 Scott, Sampson, have a uh, good read. I really don't have time to deal with you right now, Hemingway. Well, you can deal with him now. We're on the front page of tomorrow's Tribune. The front page is already written. I wrote it. You scoop my, my MacGuffin obituary? The Scott here uncovered one of the biggest cocaine trafficking rings in years. What? <laughs> this coffee shop is just a front. Felicio gave me the story. Felicio gave you the story? Well, I had to read between the lines. He said it was right under my nose. They pack cocaine in coffee so you can't smell it. I guess this is a pretty common mistake for a pop journalist, huh? You're not a journalist.